Hello everyone, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are on this planet. So, this morning, it's still morning for me here in New York, um, I am going to tackle this today, um, week assignment number nine for Margaret Miller, Marguerite Miller Colossus Challenge. And let me put my glasses on so I can read this here. And the assignment for week number nine is inspired by a fairy tale, something that represents an event, an architectural element, a dictionary page, a key, and the bonus is a postage stamp. Now, I've got everything except for <laughs> the last three elements um, the dictionary page a key and a postal stamp so I'm gonna go ahead and start and then I'm gonna pause to go get the other items because I know exactly where they are and it won't take me but a minute to get them so let's go ahead and start the project okay so I'm just going to flash through the pages for my newbies just in case they haven't seen anything that I've done already. And then we're going to start what we're going to go here. This is my little envelope that I made here to hold my papers um, for the, assi the assignments, the other half of the assignments that goes in here. Here is um, assignment number one, magical. Here's assignment number two, owl in the woods. Here is assignment number three. Hold your thought, hold that thought, hold that thought. Okay, I'm back. Let's continue going through my pages here. So we're going to go, this is this is um, assignment number three, which was the, um, what was that, the lavender. Still my favorite, still my favorite, still my favorite. Then we have the Fancy Lady Lemons with the lemons. This was assignment number four. And then we have assignment number five. Let me just move this out of the way. This is the Burgundy Lady with the teapot. And we have our cat spoon with our doodles. If you haven't found it, there's a little cat within the doodles got to find a little cat in the doodles okay if you find it let me know in comments for the burgundy lady all right assignment number five it's in the hat the cat is in there got to find it and then assignment number six is a room with a view this is my fantasy room okay well not particularly my fantasy room because my fantasy room will look better than this but this is I just love this room because of the, you have your own private deck, okay? And I have my book, I have my picture of my cat and dog, I have a clock, you know, my, my brick wall over here, my bed. It's just a little, you know, comfy, comfy. That's what it is. It's a comfy, comfy, okay? And then assignment number seven. We had to do, this one was um, a walk for health, walk for life, okay, because a brisk walk is better than a jog, because nobody wants to ruin their knees these days. <laughs> um, I had a comment about this picture here. I know it's a famous portrait. I think it's um, the lady with the pearl ring, earring or something like that. And I hear, I was told that there's a book about it. So I have to touch base on that book there. Find out what, the, what that is, okay? So that's what this one's about, week number seven. Assignment number seven. I always try to make a little something, a statement on my, on my creations here. And this one here is a walk because walk for health, you know, it's something I have to do for my health. Okay, so now we're on week assignment number eight. This was basically on something at the sea, so I related it on the mermaid with my shell here, or my charm. 
and I have my business card at the bottom here. I noticed, I noticed my son told me that he noticed that my business card are the same colors of what I have here in my collage. And I'm like, and I take a closer look and I'm like, yeah, you're right. Those are the same colors. It didn't, it didn't, I mean, it wouldn't dawn on me. It didn't dawn on me, but when you take a closer look, it does have the same colors that I have here in my collage. And, and it just, it worked out really good. I wasn't thinking, I would just put it in there because I needed a, a business card. So I'm like, why not use mine? So that was that. Okay, so that was the last assignment that I've done, which was last week. And we are going to go and see what, what I have for assignment number nine. And here's are my pieces that I've gathered together that I wanted to, would like to try to work with but you know I don't usually use them okay so my thing this week was the um, I think I told you in one of my um, my videos that the fa of the fairy tales that I've used so far was Sleeping Beauty and um, Sleeping Beauty and Cinderella and the third and the one if I had another one it would be Tinkerbell so this is going to be somewhere around on Tinkerbell, but Tinkerbell is going to be into the fashion type of thing here, okay? She wants to do the fashion with her shoes, you know, she has a closet of shoes, but, so, that's why you see shoes here, so she, she's going to be fancying the shoes, but I don't know, I'm going to have to tinkle around there, okay? So, here we go. I have a little clip here about fairies and elves, I thought maybe I'd put that in there, but I don't know if I'm going to use it, so that's that. And then I have these clippings of shoes. All right, so that was that was that. That's, that's a blue in here. So I have some flip flops. I have slippers. I have some Crocs. I have some sneakers. I have some sneakers. Some sports shoes. Those I think those are bowling balls. Bowling shoes. I have some moccasins. I have some um, walking boots, working boots, walking boots. Mm. We have some sandals. We have some pointed shoes, which are ballet shoes. Okay. And then we have the stilettos. <laughs> and then we have the fashion trend. Okay. This is kind of Tinkerbell's kind of thing right here because of the colors. Okay. And this is her typical walkway when you walk into her little... Um, her little house, the, her little um, bird house. This is her entrance there. You will go up the stairs and then you have the, to the right, to the left there will be into her little sitting area or whatever it is, okay? Her table sitting over there. All right, so, the, so that's that deal. And then this is the outside of her, well, like the backyard, you know. She has her little blue of her house there. She has her downstairs front, the back stairs. And her, her porch is over there. She has, eh, That's her little thing. This is something of the wall that I was thinking about using. That does not belong there. There's something I cut out. I might be using this little clip of the flower. It's a corner piece of a flower. So this is Tinkerbell's cousin and I was thinking about putting her in there because she's going to do a visit she went into the yard there to pick some flowers but I'm not sure if I'm, if I'm going to use her so that's that here is my what it, my poster stamp I'm not sure if I'm going to use it but because I have I think I have some other couple more but being that it's from Daphne's diary and it's I might just use it so never know so let's just put that over there here is a hat. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it, but if I don't use it, there is another assignment that uses, is calls for use of a hat. So this will be perfect. I will be right back. Okay, so let's continue. So here is a back wall flowers that I might use for like the backing, like a little backdrop. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using it. Um, I think it's a little bit too much color for this, what I want to do. This, this isn't, I mean, but it caught my eye, but I'm not sure if I'm, not, if I'm going to be using it. So, I don't know. I'll put it to the side, though. Okay. So, when I got first, it, first time interrupted, I went ahead and picked up my little three 
pieces that I was missing. So here is my dictionary page. Okay, I just I got a, the um, F for fairy tale, fairy fairy tale. So this is F section here for that. And then I got the keys here. I'm not sure which key I'm going to be using, but it's going to be one of these keys. Is these are the key stickers? All right. I'm not going for a real key. I mean, I do have some real keys, but I'm not going to do it because I need this to sit as flat, the book to sit as flat as it pos as possible. Um, here is some more stamps. These are sticker stamps. Okay. I do have some real stamps I might use. Now, the it calls for something that represents an event. I think an event being that I'm going towards the fashion Tinkerbell and her thing is shoes so I went ahead and found an article in Daphne's Dairy and she has something about shoes and when shoes first came out so that will be my event on shoes what do you think good idea right <laughs> I think so too so that's gonna go over here to the side all right so here is my Tinkerbell and her family I'm not gonna put her cousin in there because, because. All right, so see, I'm not sure which one I want to use. So that's why I have two. And I might use just both of them because one could be Tinkerbell and one could be her cousins or her, her niece or whatever. So that's the, right, that's the way I'm going. But she doesn't have any shoes because she's home right now. But when she goes out, she likes to dress up with her fancy shoes. So that's how I'm going towards that way, like that. Okay? Because the vent is shoes. Alright, so here is my little backdrop here that I want to use. So, the architectural element is going to be, it could be the birdhouse, yeah. But I'm going, I'm leaning towards this little, this building right here. It's supposed to be a famous building in somewhere, I think, I'm not sure where, I can't remember where. I think Barcelona or somewhere out there. But this is a famous place here. I need it because of the sky and then... These little little outcoves here, the little decks here, I'm using because when I place this, when I place this on here, it looks like part of the. And let me put the tree here because this is basically um, part of a wall. But when I put it on the edge, it looks like a tree, a white tree. So I'm making it work. Okay, gonna make it work, right? Gonna make it work. So that's the tree. Okay, and then I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this bottle of flowers, but I, I it looked good because I needed the flowers to come in front of the bird the birdhouse. Okay, and I like this little nesting little wire up there at the top there. So this is gonna be right here, like so, with the bird on there. Like so, but you know what? I'm thinking that I might need to turn it because the nest is over here. So I need to probably put this over here. I probably need to put this over here. Like so. Okay, put this over here like so. Ugh. I might have to cut that. And then this will be here like that. This will be here like that. Like that. You see where I'm going? You see how these little things look like this part, like, a, like in the backdrop, you know, off the tree. And here is my birdhouse. So here, hanging off the limb. Well, this is also hanging off the tree. And then I have my little Tinkerbell right here, hanging there. And they're hanging on this side of the tree. Like so. Like 
like that. What do you think? Yeah? So then I need to put this over here. Where's my shoes? Here's my event. My event's going to go there. With this shoe. i got to bring this up a little bit. Like so. There is the shoe. And then we have to put in our dictionary page. Dictionary page is going to be right there. And then we have to put our stamp. Stamp is going to be right here. I'm thinking <laughs> a lot of stuff's going at the bottom, but that's okay. And then I gotta put the key I might have to put this shoe another place. I think about cutting her off and so I have the place this here on top of that like so I might have to do that okay so that's that plan there but that's how I want this to show I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this one right here or keep this one right here I think I'm gonna take this one out I need room to put my shoe I need room for my shoe or should I use this one? No, let's use that one. And that'll be room for my stamp. I put my stamp over here. I put my key. I put my key hanging right there. Sounds like a plan. I think I go like that. Yeah? Let's do that. Just use the yellow. I would rather have you use this key, this shoe, though. I really wanted to use this shoe. I still can use that shoe. I'll be hiding my flowers down here. Let's take that shoe back out. I'll be cutting that one off. I still want to use that shoe. Let's just go for that. Let me go ahead and cut this off. Because I really don't want this young lady here not fitting in with the plan that I got going on here. So let's cut that off. Let's bring this one down. Like so, put 
put that there, like so. We can put the potion stamp over here to cover up that there, like so. <laughs> yeah. That's looking a little, a little better. I'm liking that. What do you think? All I have to do is put the key, right? Potion stamp, key, dictionary page, architectural element in the background. Well, that can be there. The event. And then my fairy tale is Tinkerbell. I'm going to go with that. So let's go ahead and start gluing things down and um, go from there. I might have to do some inking, but that's okay. I don't need that because I'm going to go ahead and use that other stamp to do that. So let's go ahead and do some inking real quick. Hopefully, hopefully I don't have to do any kind of fast forwarding. <sighs> I hate doing fast forwarding because you guys don't hear me talk and I hate just playing music all the time. It doesn't, doesn't work for me. It does not work for me. You know what? Should I cut that out? I think I am. I'm not going to have all this brown in here. I don't want to have all this. Let's cut that out. Okay. We'll cut that cut out like so. Alright, that looks better. I like that better. Instead of having all that wasted space there. I don't think this part at the top is going to show, so I'm not going to worry about that. Let's go ahead and do Tinker Bell real quick. And then I'll do the stamp. And then everything else I'm not going to ink. Because I want it all to blend together. You understand? Got my drift. Yeah. So where's my...
right, so the first thing that's going to go down is the stamp, right? Right. Let's go ahead and put that down. It's going to go right here. Cover up that bottle top. Yeah. Next is going to be the shoe. Tinkerbell is into shoe business and she has shoes. That's her fashion. She got to make money somehow. Right? I mean, yeah, she's a fairy. She can just magically make it appear, but she don't want everybody to know that she's Tinkerbell. She wants to keep that secret. She wants to keep that a secret. She don't want everybody to know she's Tinkerbell. All right, then our event. Event is covering up my flowers, but oh well. I could have had it over here, but that's okay. You think I still can do that? Even though this is going to clear, dry clear, I still want to clear it away somehow. <laughs> okay, we have our stamp, we have our event. Now for my key. What kind of key are we going to use? We can use this little, little bit right there, right? We can use that one. Let's see. Yeah, we can use that one. Or should I use a long one? Yeah, we can use a long one. The bird's holding the key. Ha ha. The bird is holding the key. All right, let's go down our list here. Fairy tale. We have Tinkerbell. An event. The shoe is the event. Architectural element. We have our building in the back with our birdhouse right here. Dictionary page right here key and the bonus is the poster stamp right there I think I've got it all what do you think yeah we're set we are done let's go ahead and put down my event my assignment sheet on here somewhere I don't know and we can call it a day. Okay. Let's get
get my washi tape out. I'm going to use a different one today. I think I'm going to put it right here. It's not covering up any much, a lot of stuff here. That's where we're going to put it. put it up here because it'll be folded over. It'll be folded over so it won't be in the way that much. All right today's date is the 21st right? So we have February 21st and my initials. Let's get a closer look here so you can see what I've got. We have my key. We have our structural buildings. We have Tinkerbell. We have our shoe with our stamp and our event. Because Tinkerbell is into the shoe fashion business. That's, that's my plan. That's the way it goes. Yes. All right, ladies, that is it for today. I'll see you next week for Marguerite Miller's next assignment number 10 um, assignment, and we are set. So please stay tuned to my, um, my other videos, which are the Blue Winter Journal. I went to the, I'm sorry, the Blue Winter Melody Journal that I'm doing for, the, um, for winter, okay? I have like a good two more weeks before spring hits, so... I will be buckling down on my winter journal to get that finished out before spring because I have something else planned for spring. And then I'm going to do a video on the spring book that I had made last spring that I still have available that hasn't sold in my um, in my store yet. So I will do a vi another video on that so you can see that. Um, and then um, I'm doing the use your paper bag challenge. I have to complete um, decorating the bag. I got to make my tag that goes in the bag. So with that, and then pick up my pages for my journal to go into the bag. And then we're all set. All right, ladies, that's it. Thank you for joining me in my video. Have a blessed day. Goodbye.